After an 18 month intermission, the Nashville Symphony returns to the stage this weekend, bringing more live music back to Music City. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon explains what's being done to keep patrons and musicians safe as the rebound continues. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back home. It's a moment a year and a half in the making. When music once again echoed through the Skirmerhorn Symphony Center, it was cause for celebration. It was just uh, really fantastic to hear the orchestra. And I have to admit, my eyes got a little moist. As the Nashville Symphony marks its opening weekend, President and CEO Alan Valentine says adjustments will be made due to the pandemic. The musicians are spread out so that they can be distanced from each other. And uh, and really, um, you know, the design was really to help protect all of them. Additional safety measures are also in place for guests. Before they walk through the door, they have to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test taken within the last 48 hours. Rapid testing will also be offered outside the building. Got it. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. I'll give you a wristband. We're really following uh, uh, very clear guidance uh, from the CDC, from HCA. Uh, and the epidemiologists there, as well as listening to our patrons. Valentine hopes by requiring masks, making tickets and programs digital, and upgrading air filters, people will feel comfortable returning to performances and rally around musicians after a challenging year. We're deeply grateful and, and uh, know that, that the support we've received from the community uh, has really um, made a difference. Now that the fanfare has returned, everyone at the Nashville Symphony hopes this is the first of many more live performances to come. They're as excited to be back as we are to listen. So um, it's really been, it's magic. It really is. In Nashville, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.